Hi, this is Kerala at KeralaFickland.com. Welcome Network.com. Welcome.com. iStudyGuides.com. iStudyCards.com. And if you want to um, read some of my writings on uh, language, like the history of the English language, uh, looking at all the different metaphors when you're talking about parts of the body, like hand it over, or to go ahead, head, or to eye someone, or to keep your nose to the grindstone, and all the different metaphoric um, expressions, idiomatic expressions, slang expressions, with different parts of the body, finger, and I'm not using any particular finger, you notice that, right? <laughs> In a finger, and to finger someone, all right, something like that. You can go to um, Pedians, P E D I A N S. Okay, and um, look at, download anything you want to, um, or just look at it. Uh, I have quite a bit of writings, and it's, I have writings for English. What fascinates me a lot is the difference between different versions of English, like Australian English versus British English versus South African English versus American English. We have a, we have whole sets of cards that are called non-American English. So it's English, but it's English that you normally don't hear in the United States. And it would be real, some of these words are real and expressions are really strange for people who speak American English. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Okay. What I want to talk about is a sound that, is, that has always fascinated me. And I'm pulling over the computer now and I'm looking at the website. And that sound is the CH. It's always fascinated me, fascinated me because of all the different pronunciations of the CH. And I'm pretty sure that you've learned in your language class that the CH has at least two pronunciations. It has more. Okay. So, first is a soft pronunciation of the CH, such as children, ch, 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 ch. And I remember how we learned in school, how you learn how to distinguish between the CH and the SH in school. Um, even though it's your language, but uh, what the train does, the train goes choo 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 choo, and in, I think it's in it's I know it's in uh, Creole, Haitian Creole. It might also be in French. They say choo choo. I think it's right choo choo. No, yeah choo choo, and that means that's a that's a term of affection choo choo. Uh, so um, and I think it means cabbage. C H O U, but they call their loved one little cabbages. Well, we call people sweethearts, you know, take the heart and say it's sweet. All right, so you have such as children and chief. Let me give you some more chicory and chicken and chestnut and check. Now, what I'm doing is when I'm looking over here, I'm looking over at the web page. And I'm looking at the cards that we have available. These cards are available at iStudyCards.com. I'll just go into the website and then you can then you'll be led to where to all the different links are where you can get it. Chicken, chicory, I've already said that. Chief, child, children. Now you know child is the singular and children is the plural. Choose. And the past tense of to choose is do you remember? chose chocolate now so you know the ch has a ch 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 sound to it right and it's a different sound than the sh and if you always want to be able to make sure that you know the difference and on vi one video I am going to look at the difference between the sh and the ch is you have two words that are almost pronounced the same and see if you can pronounce these two words differently C H E R R Y and then S H E R R Y. These are called minimum pairs. The only difference is that one begins with the C H, the other begins with the S H. So one is cherry, cha, cha, cherry, and the other one is sherry, cha, cha, sherry. Okay, so that's to help you 
to, you know, distinguish between the SH and the CH. We're taught that, you know, how to hear the difference. One is cherry, C-H-E-R-R-Y, and the other one is sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y. But not all the words that begin with C-H or contain the C-H is the sound, is the pronunciation ch, ch. Sometimes the pronunciation is like the hard C or K, such as chronicle, that's C-H, or O-N-I-C-L-E, chronicle. Let me give you some more. Chrome. These are words that begin with the C-H, but you don't say trome, which is a horrible sound. It's chrome. Chorus. Character. Chemistry. I've heard people say chemistry. No, it's chemistry. Chiropractor. Christian. Chromate. Christ. Chronic. Christmas. Chloroform. Okay. Now, let me see. How to help you to distinguish between the CH that's ch and the CH that's k. You know, I really, there's really no rule. It's not if it begins, if the CH is followed by an L or followed by an I or whatever. The only thing that I've been able to distinguish between the CH, the one that's hard versus the one that's soft, is that the one that's hard, those words seem to come from Latin. And those words are more cognate to, let's say, a Latin-based um, um, language. So someone who speaks, let's say, Spanish or Italian or French, not French so much, French is different, but say Italian or Portuguese or Spanish, they would recognize the word because the word is more Latin-based versus the one with the soft CH, child, children, chief, chisel, uh, can't think of any more right now. I don't have it in front of me because I'm at my I'm at the card that's dealing with the hard CHs. Those are more Germanic base base words. Those are words that would not be easily recognized by someone who speaks a Latin base language. Okay, so, but that's not the big one. Let me give you a couple more, and I'll, I might have to go on the other video and look at a different pronunciation of the CH that you might not have learned in your language class, but let me give you some more. Um, chemical, choir, see these are words that someone who speaks a Latin-based language would recognize, like Christ, Cristo. Let me see, chloride, cord, Christopher. Okay, now characterization, chronological, Machiavelli, these are CH in the middle of the word, machinate. Now I've heard both machinate and machinate. I don't think machinate is correct, but I've heard it. Mechanic, you definitely can't say mechanic. All right, mechanical, all right, mechanized, scholar. Now those, now that word is very interesting, scholar. Scholarly, scholarship, scholastic, school. Now, school is uh, Germanic based, so it, you know it doesn't hold. School, schooner. Now, when we come back, the ch also has another pronunciation, and we're going to look at that pronunciation. And this pronunciation is very interesting. So this is Corala at CoralaFickland.com.